So I just received my new Fricky S160 spinning wheel from Spunky Eclectic up in Lisbon, Maine. They included some nice fiber to practice with and assembly and operating instructions. So we'll be putting this together and trying it out. So here's what came in the box. We have the drive wheel and some small parts, including uh, the drive band, the brake band, um, some of the nuts and bolts, and then the base and the support, and then four bobbins, and the lazy kate. These are the pegs for the lazy kate. Here is the flyer and uh, is the Lazy Kate. You need to get just a couple of pegs. Four bobbins. Here is a nice um, plate from the Frickies in Washington State. This is the treadle, single treadle wheel. So, we'll read the instruction manual and put it together. So far I have the shaft inserted into the wheel and I've also um, put the support on the base. The only tool I had to supply myself is this 7 16th inch wrench to tighten the nuts underneath this support. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. Now I have the shaft of the wheel inserted through the support with the little brown spacers uh, on either side. There's a short one on the back and a wider one on the front. All right, I ended up having to sand down this little brown spacer ever so slightly in order to line up the hole on the shaft with the hole on this footman assembly to insert the screw. It just was a fraction of a bit of space that didn't allow the screw to go in because the holes were not lined up. And maybe I just wasn't holding my mouth right, as they say here in the South, but it worked to just sand down this, it's kind of a hard plastic uh, spacer, just a little bit, and now it's all lined up and inserted and tightened. Okay, I connected the footman to the treadle and then put in the flyer assembly from the back added another little collar on the front, put the bobbin on, and then the flyer by tightening uh, right here, and then inserted the knob that controls the brake, threaded it around the bobbin, and attached right there. So the brake is ready to go. Uh, the flyer and bobbin are ready to go. And this is the five um, speed whirl. That's the highest ratio. And I think the, according to the instructions, it's set on this, the whirl is set on this hub to work with the middle speed right now. And all you have to do uh, to change speeds is you want to align whichever whirl you're using over your wheel by loosening this little um, screw and moving this whirl accordingly.